This was maybe a lot of tiny hopes that turned into be one big hope. I was diagnosed in 2011. One of my options was watchful waiting. I'm sure they all would have preferred that I get it taken out right away. But I thought, no, I want to keep my quality of life as long as possible. We found the cancer in 99 and I opted for surgery. Then in 2000, I had radiation. Unfortunately, that did not get it all. Finally, in 2014, it's like, okay, my numbers had started to rise and we all felt, okay, now's the time. Watchful waiting is over with. And when they went in and did the actual biopsy is when basically the cancer escaped the prostate area. We were able to manage the cancer, but it would keep coming back. At that point, we had exhausted everything that was available. My doctor recommended that I go to Germany where Theranostics and specifically Letitium was being used very successfully. Hey, Brandon. Hey, how you doing? I'm good, how about you? Mr. Foster is an incredible individual seeking treatments that weren't originally approved in the United States in Germany. On my first trip to Germany, Ashad Kilkarni was the attending physician. What is really important is that PSA is not everything. You're actually seeing that you're targeting the disease, and when you see that the disease is not present, then you can confirm that there is a molecular response. I've had this uh, treatment in Germany, and I've had this treatment in Grand Rapids, Michigan, which is a new facility called BAMF, and it's uh, probably one of the nicest places I've been as far as my medical treatment goes. My lead doctor at uh, BAMF is Brandon Mancini. So his experience is invaluable because you have someone just showing, even after years of that therapy, just how well that individual is doing in a situation where the cancer is controlled. In my situation, since the cancer is in my lymph system, all we can do at this point is manage the cancer. It's a great thing for people in my situation. I have five children and 13 grandchildren. I married a Texas cowgirl, so it is a big family. They have been extremely supportive. We play a little golf, we go boating, and we have a horse ranch and uh, manage the horses. Uh, I'm not slowing down. Life is good down here in Florida. In 2014, I was quite worried, I would say, that, you know, did I wait too long? His PSA started going up. Everybody knows his cancer is coming back, but nobody can confirm where the tumors are. We couldn't figure out what to do next. I was about a week away from chemo and hormone therapy. Dr. Chang had heard of a clinical study at UCLA. After we do this kind of scan, and we actually identify he has a four spot in the chest area, which is totally away from pelvic area. If we follow the conventional protocol to do those kind of blasts, he will receive a lot of necessary radiation for nothing. The cells were so small, the average PET scan, CAT scan, MRI, and I had so many of all of them, weren't picking these spots up until this, the nuclear medicine tracer, they, they lit up. And that's why we decided to go to Germany to do theranostic using this targeted radiation therapy to burn those things out and we can have a great outcome. And we did it. And Anthony and I were having dinner at the German hotel in the small town of Bad Berka after my treatment and after my quarantine was over. And we got to talking that most people do not have either financial means or just access or even knowledge that this treatment is available. And whatever I can do from my side to make that happen, I want to be able to do. I think one of the important takeaways from my experience in Germany was to really have that constant zest for identification of the unmet needs and then to have contacts and collaborations with researchers all around the world. Literally five years from the concept in Bad Berka, Germany, to opening our doors here in Michigan to make this treatment available to as many people as possible. How are you today? 
I'm doing great, actually. It's just, I couldn't be more proud and grateful. Amazing. No side effects. Really? No issues. We're so happy to be able to use this technology to help patients to back to their life with a great life quality, to enjoy their family life, and also to do the things they love for a long time. I was very fortunate to have a great mom and a great dad. One of his lifelong missions was to leave the country, the world, a little better place because he lived. And that's always resonated with me. You know, this is above and beyond, especially in the first six months, what I ever hoped or dreamed.